Ah, 3PO. Was a 3PO series protocol droid with a distinctive red plating and a moody attitude. During the Galactic War, it served the Alliance to restore the Republic in the fight against the Galactic Empire. K-3PO was a white, older model 3PO series, who became one of the most valued droids to serve the Alliance to Hello, restore the to Centurion's Corner and another episode of Droid Factory. Today, I'm bringing you my custom of K-3PO and R-3PO. Very simple, and this is how I created them. So as you can see, it was a very sort of simple process uh, to create these two. I mean, literally, it's just repainting a C-3PO figure. So I actually went on AliExpress and I purchased quite a few of these guys. They're about five ninety eight and about four pounds post and packaging. So just under a tenner, really, for um, kind of this figure, which I think is pretty good for a C-3PO. They're not bootlegs. I think they're just literally just sort of damaged factory ones. And I can't see why. I mean, they're literally absolutely fine. Yeah, this joint here is a little bit wobbly, but you know, if you're going to be painting them up, it's going to stiffen the joints anyway. But um, yeah, it's absolutely fine. So this is just another custom later down the line that needs painting. So yeah, as I thought it's the 40th anniversary of Emperor Strikes Back, why not bring some of the background characters that need some loving? As we're getting plenty of other sort of characters, and we're not getting these, which is quite an easy kind of win for Hasbro, really, just to design and re do a new looking C-3PO figure. So first of all, I did red 3PO, uh, which is R-3PO, um, and I just used flat red Tamira and literally just caked him in it, just painted him up and done all his extra bits that are gold into red and leaving the um, parts at the bottom here. And after that, I went over with a very fine black wash. And uh, if I bring it a bit closer, you can just see like the dirt and the grit that's on there. So just to give him a little bit more lifelike kind of look on there. So you can look left and right still, we can look up and down. You know, we've got this kind of rotation here. We've got the movement up on the arm, but it's the old kind of design. So he hasn't got that piston arm. So it's just all one piece. We've got a hinge as well. We've got rotation at the upper thighs. We've got still got that bend at the knee and we've got a rocker and a pivot down here with the rotation. But, you know, it kind of wins. It doesn't have to be the best looking C-3PO kind of figure out there because once you put all the paint on, put him in the background, put him on the shelf, straight away it's R-3PO. You know, and I think we just need a few of these sort of extra droids in the Black Series kind of run. So K-3PO, uh, the white one, which was a bit more annoying. The white paint just didn't want to stay on him. It just kept running off and just being just being horrible to um, to work with really. And it could be just my Tamira paint. It, for some reason, it's very watery. But um, in the end, I, if you look, I've got kind of a few sort of street marks and stuff on there where I had to keep layering it on. But in the end, I thought it kind of works because a character in the Star Wars world isn't gonna stay pristine white. Not, not so ever. Everything's kind of grubby, everything's oily, and everything's just unwashed. You know, so it does work. And over the top, I just went over with a Tamira Master Kit kind of um, things, which you can pick up for about nine pounds, and just used oil stain just over the top of him, just to highlight some sort of areas, you know. And um, just applied extra dots here with the same paint that I used on him, uh, just for the circles. And his eyes are slightly a little bit different colour, so I had to make them white and then put in the dot again, but. Apart from that, he's all fine and hunky dandy, you know, he's just just the droid that we need. The wires are all white as well, and I just went over them with a bit more of a sort of like the uh, the oil stain just to highlight the detail on there so it just didn't look too too white inside there. So um yeah, it's pretty good. And it's just kinda nice just to get these guys on that shelf, you know, and just it's just those extra characters just there, just to highlight our um Black Series collection and make them grow before Hasbro even get their finger out. So 
yeah i mean thanks again guys for following me on this one you can comment down below you can subscribe and you can follow me on instagram which i'll be showing more pictures of these guys on there and on the turntable and stuff on my story so you can just follow me there so until then i'll see you next time take care bye